what's going on this is going to be an update video to uh my silverado video that i made about a year ago on the oil pressure sender or switch and this has to deal with the biggest question i get which is how to unclip the connector so today i'm going to show you how to hopefully unclip the connector now this is a 2009 uh, chevy silverado um, gm actually makes two different stock connectors this one has the harder connector to unclip um, where it uses actually like a, a clip that needs to be pulled up and then you need to push and undo the undo the switch. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get this phone down in there. I'm using a phone because it has the light on it. I'll get down in there and show you exactly how, how, it, how it works. And um, the other stock connector, I don't remember what years they used those on, but the sensor itself, the connector will be round. And the connector, it, when it goes on, and the way it clips on there, it clips on there with like a clip that you just bend and then pull it off. That's the easier one. Uh, again, I don't remember what, what year those goes on. Um, next time I'm at the junkyard, I'll go ahead and take a peek and see if I can find a couple of them that have that. And I'll probably make another update video on that just to show you that. So we'll get down in there and uh, see what's going on. And if this video was uh, helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button on it. And don't forget to share it and do all that stuff like that and check out the channel. All right, so the orientation of the sensor can be turned any way, okay? So the safety clip on this thing, this piece on top right here, you need to pull this piece up. Get both fingers back there and wiggle it up. A lot of people end up ripping this thing off, which is fine too, but once you got it up, I got it up, then you're going to push, right here, you got to push to get it loose, so you can hear it unclip, then you can pull the connector up, okay, so hopefully you can still see the connector, I can't tell or not, but it goes back on. Get the clip on. Oh, yeah, it might take me a minute to get the phone where I need to get it. But I'm gonna try to pull the connector out. Maybe you can see it. Oh man, it is pretty tough to get a phone back here. You can actually see what I'm trying to see. So the gray part is the safety clip, and again you need to pull that part up, and then push on it. Oh god, okay, let me get my hand in here. Do it one more time. Okay. Hopefully you can see it. This gray piece right here is the safety clip. It needs to come up. You have to use your finger, fingernails, or whatever and you need to pull it up on both sides get it up see how it kind of moves and you need to push the top of it back here to unclip it actually unclip it okay. before I can actually hear it unclip I can't get it now I don't think I have it off all the way get it as high as you can get it I got it real high that time. I think I got it too high, but push right here, pull it out. The safety clip just broke off of it. Cool. the safety clip right off of it. All that thing does is when it goes on, it won't let you push this to unlock it. You can pull it up and you can unlock it right here. 
Okay. Hopefully I got that. Don't really need it. Yeah. This video helped you out. Hit the thumbs up button for me. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Later.